the Honorable Thomas Mulcair, former leader of the opposition in Canada. Also joining me this evening, Brahma Chalani, strategic affairs expert. And I ask you, Mr. Mulcair, the question straight is, this is a break point between India and Canada, who have been democracies uh, having a long history of friendship. Do you think India has read the Riot Act to Canada because uh, the charges made by Prime Minister of Canada against India are really not uh, even backed by his own MP who's come out and condemned these statements without any proof the charges have been made against India. How do you respond uh, to something that is not even supported by the members of Parliament of uh, Mr. Trudeau's own party? Well, you raise an interesting point, Naviga, and I think that part of the answer has to be on Monday when Mr. Trudeau came out with this in the House of Commons, it was the day back, the party wasn't doing very well. And when you let this sort of massive information out there, it sucks all the air away from other issues that were going to be on the table as he reintegrated the House of Commons. So I, I think that the point that you raised with regard to evidence is one that one of the other political leaders, which I am not anymore, I'm an observer, I'm a commentator, I give my opinions on things, but uh, one of the leaders who is still member of the House of Commons, Mr. Poilier, who's the leader of the opposition and who polls show his way ahead of us right now, he asked a very simple question. He says, okay, this is such an important allegation that you've made. Have you got any evidence for it? Can you prove any part of it? And so far, there hasn't been any. And it's worth pointing out, Navika, that leaders of the opposition by tradition are members of what we call the King's Privy Council for Canada. So when I was the leader of the opposition, even though I had not been a minister, because all ministers are members of the Privy Council, like Mr. Poiliev was, but I had to be made a member of the Privy Council. And so that, that was so the prime minister I was facing, Stephen Harper, would be able to share secrets of state, and I would be bound by the secret of the Privy Council. And indeed, that's what could have happened here. If Mr. Trudeau has that evidence, he can and should be sharing it. When, when these big issues happen on the world stage, you can think back to the events of history. Governments come forward and say, we have evidence of this grave act, and here it is. So this was just laid out there. And already the next day, Mr. Trudeau seemed to be trying to put the cover back on, on the pot and, and you know, lowering the temperature. But he had already said what he had said. And I'm sure that he wouldn't have said it unless our security services gave him some indication. But the Canadian voting public has none of that right now. And today, India is, has announced, as you're aware, that uh, they're going to be putting an end to visas to Canada. So things are heating up instead of cooling down with two countries that have deep traditions of friendship, a very large diaspora community in Canada that I know well. And everybody's asking the same question. What evidence do you have of this grave offense that you have alleged? And so far, as I mentioned, uh, Naviga, th there's been no evidence of that so far.